happy wear You like balloon boy, mama, you was never there I am the kung fu panda Fuck all of your blocks, fuck all of your propaganda Good for the goose, then it's good for the gander Nikki ain't a rapper, Nikki is a brander Please, you can never compare to me Okay, so in this video, I'm not really gonna edit it I'm just gonna post it, okay? So y'all don't get none of the cute ones from Jurassic Parks and all that, you know? Okay, so I don't remember. I'm just chilling here on the here with Emma, and I thought I was just giving y'all a little YouTube video and whatever. I just talked to the girls, and my her nose is very raw, and I'm kind of nasty. Um, I'm in my new spot. I feel very blessed. Wow. I have really come a long way, my. I wonder how many of y'all are still here for my first YouTube video. I think it was like about my cat getting his nuts chopped off. I don't even know. That'd be a cute little edit. I think I might go back and edit this video after I upload it. Um, but I think I'm just gonna do vlogs. Okay, so today is Sunday, April 10th. Um, um, I'm thankful. I'm really thankful. I've come a long way, and I feel like it's all been by the grace of God. Through a lot of my endeavors, I know that God has pulled me through all of them. A hundred percent of them. I know that the enemy works hard to not only stop what God has ordainedly planned, but also the light. And... And what the enemy tries to do is he tries to take away that light and minimize other people's lights in order to manipulate that. Now, let me tell y'all my story with the enemy, okay? The enemy has tried to take me out multiple times. Multiple times the enemy has tried to take me out, has beaten me, has battered me, has literally made me feel useless and hopeless. I met on this app called Bingo, and literally, Bingo is the enemy. It's complete darkness. Literally, the, literally the epitome um, the epitome of evil. Yeah, literally, literally. And I need to stop telling my girls to go over there, but I just, I feel like it can be used in a lot of good ways. And those are the ways that I like to use it. Like, I'll do my hair, and we'll all do my, we'll all play Fortnite. Some of me play Brahma, but I feel like Brahma is literally like, um, bootleg Nintendo 64 game of Super Smash Bros. Like, I never can get into Brahma. And I'm not, so I know I'm not putting closed captions. And that's too much. I don't make no money on here. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Did I say I was an editor in this? I'm not editing in this. This is not to be raw and uncut. But Bingo is really a negative place. And as much as I try to be like a light on Bingo and try to be um, a genuinely funny soul, I feel like, I feel like I'm genuinely funny. I genuinely love people. I don't know. They have their own perception on me, but I, I know one thing about me. I'm not going to let anybody treat me anyway. And as I'm learning more and more about myself and I'm getting more in tune with who I am, I'm realizing that I can't be around certain entities. I can't entertain certain entities. I can't do that no more. It's a wrap. It's done. It's finito. Anyway, I've been on Bingo, I've been mistreated, I mean, my whole time being on there. I mean, they make fun of some of the saddest things in society. They, they, what they call it is reading, okay? So, when they read you, when someone reads you, basically, it should be fundamental. You read someone like, you would say I look like Rick James, right? That is a key that makes the people laugh, that you know, makes entertainment. It's when they start talking about health. I am a cancer survivor. Everyone knows that I'm a cancer survivor. 
when you start, to, I'm gonna do a video on that too. I, it's gonna be like this too, where like I'm gonna upload it through like no editing, and then I'm gonna edit it. So this video, on uh, this one also, I'm gonna end up editing it. Well, I'm gonna edit this video, but first I'm gonna post the rough draft, and then I'm gonna edit it again. So y'all can see what really happens with the video. Oh, you feel me? You are the kid? Okay, cute. Anyway, it just gets really dark, so I'm, um, I'm gonna take, like, a little absence. I've been on there a little bit, but, like, more and more, I'm slowly detaching from the whole idea of it. But, anyway, so now I'm back on YouTube. I know I always say that I always say I'm coming back on YouTube, but I think if I do it this way, it will be funner for me. If I upload unedited videos of me just sitting here talking to chat or whatever. Um... But honestly, a lot has transpired, a lot has happened. Um, let me talk about how I got here, okay? I started off, I had a really toxic relationship. And from that toxic relationship, I realized that I wanted more than the mundane. I knew that there had to be something more than life than just like a nine to five and the ceasing to exist. I said that right. So after this really toxic relationship, I was like, I need to get to know myself. I need to know who I am. I need to understand why I even allowed that shit to happen. And it's still a game of understanding. I don't think we ever truly master ourselves. I feel like we're continuously ever trying to learn ourselves because from day one, we've been told who we are. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, so I started meditating, I started writing in my journal, I started manif uh, manifesting, quote unquote. Um, I was just doing all the things, all the things and all the tongues. Um, and then somehow I ended up finding like spirituality. I was already into horoscopes and that's kind of where I started was like learning my signs and like my past life karma and all that. And really getting into that, I kind of learned through that, who I was, and what I brought to the table. Count, 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 count. Anyway, from there, I realized that I wanted to do YouTube, and I wanted to model, and I wanted to really put myself out there and be the raw, authentic self that I was when I would speak and do my motivational speaking. I, like, literally, since I was little. I went to motivational speaking all that and I would really explain my um panel with cancer. I have a whole like PowerPoint. I think I'll show you all that in the you know, the video. The other video of me like explaining my whole panel and remission with chemo radiation and cancer itself. But um I knew that I wanted to be that influencer that influence people to be who they are to not only be you but be creatively you like i wanted people to express themselves through makeup and express themselves through clothes and really go out there and be it you know like really get into it yeah yeah um and that's what I knew I wanted to do when I knew that it had to start with me. You know that song by Michael Jackson? I'll start with the man in the mirror. I knew it had to start with me and I only noticed my little impact. Um, even when I was just doing stuff on like Instagram. Oh my god, this, if I ended in this, this would be superb. But you're gonna have to go to the, um, description and you know, on my social media just see it for yourself like literally go on my instagram and like look at where i started and where i'm at now it's crazy um and i think like 
I used to have really bad anxiety as well. I had really bad anxiety, and I ended up, like, pushing myself out there and, and doing, um, I think I worked in retail. I worked at, um, name, what is it called? I worked at PacSun. If you know me from PacSun and you know me now, you know that I really made myself a badass bitch. And you know what? I have to thank all those negative relationships and friendships and all that, because y'all made mad at me. Little did you know, you mistreating me when I had nothing but pure intentions for you, and you, like, going behind my back and doing all the negative things you did when I really was only in your life to be a blessing, and you didn't learn that, and now I'm a lesson, is crazy. I think some people, God do not play about me. He don't. And he just won't make, some people can. A lot of people are gagging right now. I don't know if y'all know that. But I lost my nose ring in LA. You know why? You know why? I had got an emo eye bracelet. Do not get an emo eye bracelet. Don't get an emo eye tattoo. Don't get any of that. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not, no. I got rid of it. I got rid of it. And I prayed to my homie heaven and said, no one's having it and put it on. You know, because the way I got rid of it was the way I got rid of it. Okay? Look at this, my eyes. Hold on. Can I zoom in? Um, where was I at? Um, so I started doing modeling and all that, really putting myself out there, getting ready to be an influencer. I don't know how I got into makeup. I know when I started my makeup, I went to this cancer retreat. Um, and it was for people that either survived cancer or going through chemo or knew someone or, you know, all of that. Um, and they had this class called look good and feel better and then taught us the basics how to do foundation how to do you know your concealer all that i was like oh this is cool this is cool i can really like you know get into it um and then i ended up really exploring it and having fun with makeup and i don't know if you've seen like around my room there is a lot of art I'm an artistic girl. See again, if I'm going to edit this, it would be cuter, but I'm not. And what about it? I don't even know if I'm going to put music behind it. You know, I'm just going to upload it. I'm just going to upload it. Honestly, see how it goes, see where it goes. Who knows? Um... But yeah, so long story short, I got into makeup, and then I ended up on this live streaming app when I was, like, starting this journey, um, like, posting constantly on Instagram, posting, um, some YouTube clips and, like, vlogging and editing and really getting into that, no, no, and really getting into that, um, having as much fun as I could with, um, I'm wondering, was it, an uh, iPhone... 10. I had like an iPhone 10. I was doing all this stuff on. Really having fun with it. Anyway, I ended up on this app called Numo. This is not being promoted at all. Um, I highly recommend staying away from live streams with multiple people in America. People in America are crazy. Um, America has this really funny way um, romanticizing chaos, romanticizing war and conflict and, I mean, like, we'll record a fight, we'll stop and watch an accident, but, like, not so that no one's gonna do anything. So, I, um, right now, I feel like go ahead and avoid people on social media, go ahead and avoid that, um, don't get involved at all, stay away, make way, no! Anyway, um, I ended up on an app called Yumo, no promotion, and from there I ended up on an app called Big O. I'm going to talk all about her. She's not cute. Um, a lot of my people were telling me, you know, you should get out of society, you should get out of society, or whatever. 
Um, at this point, I'm only gone viral a couple of times, which is being who I am. People are already recording me, people are already screenshotting me and trolling me and all of that. I'm already realizing that I'm that girl. At some point, I crossed some leaps and boom, I was on a million, it was Do y'all hear that? I don't even have it around. I don't even know why I was speaking like that. Anyway. And what about it? Anyway. Um, that ended up with this talk. I mean, honestly, my only advice for anyone that wants to do it is you have to be who you are. The only way it's going to work for you is if you're not putting on a facade, if you know exactly who you are, you know exactly what you want, you know exactly what you bring, and you know all your talents, your skills, you know your mindset, you know all of that. That's the only way it's going to work. You're not going to be able to mimic someone else. You're not going to be able to do it how somebody else did it. You're not going to be able to be the next whatever. It is none of that. You have to be you because there's only one you. There's only one person that's you. And that goes back to the beginning of all this. Be creative to be creatively you. That literally is how it all started. I even had a website... Well, y'all can find that website, more power to you. Um, um, that website was a kicky, girl, kicky, kicky. Well, um, that website was not too but I was trying. I was making the effort. I knew that I had a purpose, and I was here to fulfill my divine purpose, and I wasn't going to stop until I figured out what it was. And... It was to be an influencer. Hallelujah. Um, glory be to God. No shame. He really has gotten me far. And he has not played about me. He has been playing favorites. And it feels amazing to know that God got me no matter what. That no weapon phone against me shall prosper. That there is not one thing out there that can stop me. That I am blessed, protected, and highly favored. All in one trio of one. Anyway, um, so I'm going to try to, like, get on YouTube more. I feel like this was a pretty, like, lengthy video for you guys. Um, me just talking to you guys about how I got here. Um, I think my next video, I'm going to explain to you guys, like, in detail and in depth um, what happened when I got diagnosed and, like, the step-by-step of everything. Now, this video is not edited. But in the future, I'm going to upload a video that is edited. I think the only thing I'm going to do on here is just add an uh, intro, maybe an outro. We'll see. Um, next video, unedited. I'm just going to push this content out to y'all and let y'all just see me. Like, dry and authentic. I'm not... It's not for some... I'm going to be laying in my bed. Like... Uh, I'm giving it to you as raw and uncut, unedited, and all that. I don't. I feel like a lot of people have this perception of me that I'm not who I am, and I am. I am who I am because I am who I am. Like, I really wish that I could be something I'm not for you guys, but I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm rich in soul, I'm rich in spirit, I'm very abundant with my energy, and I, I have no problem giving. And that's why I feel like I'm an entertainer. I like to make people laugh. I like to make people... Ha, 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 ha. We're not really trying. It just happens. Um, my people perceive me in a way, and hopefully without me editing a YouTube video, you guys can see, this is real, this is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Um... Yeah. 
So the long list for this video would be 20 minutes long. I'm at 19 minutes and 44 seconds. So I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna end my intro and then I'm gonna upload it now. So I upload it tonight. Y'all again. And y'all have seen me mime on either TikTok, Instagram, or Bingo today. And y'all saw this outfit. Comment in the comments and say, Oh my god, I saw you mime and you were wearing that outfit and you you are so beautiful. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to tell me I'm beautiful. I already know it. You are beautiful. Okay? You are. You know why? You know why you're beautiful? Because you see me as beauty and we're reflections of each other. What you see in me is what is in you. Okay? And what you send to me is going to come back to you to some sort of so you might want to rethink that. You might want to rethink that negative energy or that negative comment. Okay? Yeah? Literally. You're blessed. You're alive. You're alive. Okay, let me end our intro on here. My outro. Upload it. See where it goes.